Nintendo Game Talk. Welcome everyone to Nintendo Game Talk. My name is Coloco, and today's episode of Everybody Loves Lists, we're going over the top five shooters that need to be on the Nintendo Switch right now. Everybody loves Lists! The Nintendo Switch's library is in a really good place right now. Much better than it was last year. It has a lot more genre, a lot more stuff for people to choose from, including first-person shooters, something that we didn't see a lot of until late last year with Wolfenstein, with Doom, those games have been very successful. Every day, the arguments for first-person shooters not being on the Switch is getting weaker and weaker. So that's why I built this list of my top five personal favorite first-person shooters that need to be on the Nintendo Switch right now. So let's go. Number five. Gee, you might have never guessed that I would have said Destiny, huh? You know that was coming if you've seen my channel before. But yes. I do believe that the first Destiny would be a great addition to the Switch's library. They could sell it as some kind of a collector's edition and just port the game over. I know that Destiny 2 hasn't really met its sales expectations and I don't think that Destiny 2 would be the proper fit for the Switch. I think if they bundled Destiny with everything that, that Destiny comes with and they threw it on the Switch and they just sold it as a regular $60 game. I think that it would actually do very well on the Switch. I think it would be a lot of fun. Warframe proves that there is a need for a game like that on the Switch. All my friends are, a lot of my friends are playing it and they're having a blast with it. So to have another first person shooter where you could just uh, call, get your buddies and go do some raids, I think it would be an excellent choice. Number four. The Bioshock Collection. Few games have the pull that this series has. It's just a unique blend of first person uh, shooting action with RPG elements, with with a horror element, with a sci-fi element. It's just so cool and they always ha seem to have just like a deep message in all the games. It's actually one of the only games that's ever made me cry. <laughs> the ending of the first one. <laughs> stay strong, stay strong, stay strong. Okay. Huh. So anyways, I think that the gameplay is so much fun that people would actually really enjoy replaying these in a handheld machine. And what better handheld machine is there than the Nintendo Switch? That's right. You guys got it. The trick question. You don't win anything. You win the next number. Number three. Borderlands would be absolutely perfect on the Switch. The silly sense of humor that the game has, the cell shaded graphics, the focus on multiplayer play, even local multiplayer play. This game, it, it's almost like it was made to be on a Nintendo console. They really do need to port this game over. I wouldn't even mind paying for the Handsome Jack collection, the $60 price tag. Just throw it on the Switch. And for those that are saying, well, no one's going to buy that. Everybody bought Doom <laughs> and it sold very well for the sake of Claptrap. Throw it on the Switch. Number two. This one's a little bit obvious, Fallout. The Fallout series needs to be on the Switch. The post-apocalyptic RPG shooter would be perfect on the Switch. And I think of all, of all the Bethesda games have been released, I think it would actually be the most successful. The fact that it's not on the Switch is perplexing until now, because these games, especially Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, they're Xbox 360 games. We already know that the Switch could run those flawlessly. I have no idea why Bethesda has not done this yet. They're just missing out on some sweet, sweet caps. And number one. Overwatch. The most nintendo -iest of all the shooters needs to be on a Nintendo system. It's not just that the characters look like they could be Nintendo characters or that they look like they would be in a Nintendo game, but it's also the focus on the gameplay and multiplayer aspects that make this perfect for a Nintendo console. The reasonings why this is not on here yet baffles me. I don't understand. This game should have been, year one it should have been on the Switch. I understand that Blizzard's talking about maybe porting this this title over to the Switch, but like I said, it needed to happen a while back. I don't think there would be a problem running it, considering there's a game already almost similar to it in Paladins, 
and it runs very well on the Switch. And then you have other graphic intensive online multiplayer shooters like Warframe on the Switch. So I don't think it's a question of that. So whatever needs to happen, needs to happen for this title and these other four to come over. So that's my list of the top five shooters that need to be on the Switch right now. But I'd like to know what you would like to see come to the Switch. Let me know below. And if you do, I'll whisper sweet nothings right in your ear hole. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button, hit subscribe, and stick around for more Nintendo Game Talk. Later!